All right, good morning everybody. It's Monday morning. Weekend has been and gone. I had a nice weekend with my little girl doing some daddy daughter stuff. Temping bowling, cinema, pizza hut. Good fun, good fun. Um, yeah, Monday morning. Thought I'd squeeze a little episode in before I go to work, if possible. Um, and a few things to catch you guys up on in the meantime. So... In the comments, I noticed um, Mick mentioning the Deep Dark portal. <clears throat> I thought, hmm, that might not be a bad idea for various uh, mining operations. Quadruple cobblestone, though, hit me with a little headache almost instantly. And obviously this uh, lunar reactive dust. This Shibuchi block, Shibu Shibuichi ingot, is just from the uh, metal alloy. So in the meantime, I thought, well, I better set up some uh, compacting drawers and a cobble gen, which I have done here. Compacting drawers weren't too difficult a recipe. Very, very straightforward. In fact, I think I had most of these basic drawers and pistons, some stone and some iron. So we've got single cobble up to double compressed, double up to quadruple, quadruple up to sextuple, and my server's been running all weekend, and we have three quintuples, or so five times, but enough quadruple compressed, put the night vision on, to do the um, deep dark portal. One thing I had to do <coughs> to make this upgrade mining we look at that. Golden pickaxe was no problem. Upgrade base, a resonator with a weighted pressure plate. Resonator isn't a difficult recipe. But then you have to do get some GP power. So I made over here the manual mill. Mm -hmm. Just daft little stuff that I didn't really think you guys needed to worry too much about. Redstone gear, dead easy. We've got lots of these crystals from our mining adventures. Polished stone, which was living rock in front of the laser. I did have to make some more living rock, but we've seen that before. And then all you do is whole right click on there. That generates power, changes the uh, pressure plate into the mining base. And away we go. But that got me wondering. Should we look up some other stuff that requires GP? Grid power. Windmills. Dragon egg mill. Which we can't do just yet. We will have to get onto that at some point. Uh, lava mill. Then the water mill. Now that should be pretty straightforward. We wanted to make a lot of these we would need let's say we wanted to make four gives gp for adjacent flowing water blocks okay so we could put let's draw it out if we put a water mill there oh yeah and i will get on to what's just happened there as well if we put a water mill there we could put a water source here and that would flow around this side and a water source here that would flow so you'd have four sides one two three four of flowing water and that would give us 4gp angel ring uses 30 odd and I'm actually wondering, do we actually need GP? Is there anything in extra utilities that we need to be worrying about? Let's have a quick look. Well, we've got it up our sleeve anyway, haven't we, for... Um future reference, if we do decide we need it, we can put the watermill anywhere we like. 
So maybe we'll scratch that for now. But yeah, what happened down here? Conduit facade painted with cobblestone. So let's go down. Painting machine. Because I got sick of treading all over all these uh, cables, so I thought I'd better do something about it. Um, so, the painting machine. What's that printing press? It was nether quartz and diamond electrical steel. We had all that, and we've seen how to make these machine chassis, so I grabbed a bit more osmium and obsidian and diamond and all that. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Made ourselves a painting machine, and now whoop, we are uncovered everywhere. Jolly good. Jolly, 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 good, good, good. So we've got our wheat field growing. We'll have to sort this out at some point. We've got our Britannia area over here, which we'll need sorting out at some point. <laughs> Unlucky. Wrong place, wrong time for that zombie. So I think the next thing we need to be thinking about... Oh, I did go ahead and make some more uh, drives. I don't know if you've seen those. They should all be nice and empty. Just starting to get a bit worried about filling up our system. We don't actually have a lot. We've got lots of different little things. Because I did go ahead and make some extras of these just to get the rock hounding quest for some reason it hadn't clocked what we'd done so they've been made now in the background and we just need some ammonia in fact can we get that let's see if we can't get that not really we need some more anthracite coal okay no worries so we should probably start working on The blood altar, which is what we were doing, isn't it, before? And we managed to get ourselves these bricks. But we didn't have the blocks of... Uh, what's that called? Abyssal Knight. And all you do is pour a molten pig iron onto a block of mana steel. So we're going to need two blocks of mana steel. Which is star metal ingot. Unless there's another recipe. There is steel. So we can just get 18 steel. Which is here. And we can go and get our blocks of mana steel. And then we'll have a look at what alloy we need. For making pig iron. So that is nice and straightforward. Probably have to get some automatic automatic mana generation going. Oops. So pig iron is the alloy of iron, three iron. Oh, what a weird ratio. <coughs> Excuse me. So we need emeralds, blood, and iron. How are we doing for emerald? Quite a lot. Plenty of iron. Let's have a look at that recipe again. 74 to 48. How weird. What's that? 74, not 72. We can just stand in it to get the blood. Although I think I did actually... Yeah, we do have some blood. Let's go and see what that makes. Three blood can't melt in there, so we will have to stand in it. And how much do we need? We want two blocks worth. Makes 144. So we want eight recipes worth. That was 48, 96. Mm. See how that goes. 
I suppose I can go and stand inside it. When that melts, it'll start damaging us. That's going to take a long time. But if we look on, while we're waiting, into the abyss, it does actually want us to make it anyway. That'll give us an abyssal knight pickaxe. And then we're going to have to get into sight. Here we go. Starting to take damage. So we're on 33. And we need 18 recipes. So 33 times 18 is 330. About 660. And can we heal faster than we take damage? We can. Eighteen times thirty three six hundred and sixty minus sixty six five hundred and ninety four. If my maths is right, so that's coming on nicely. Probably could have sacrificed some pigs or cows or those pigmen or whatever, but we haven't, so it's no big deal. That should be that. One block, eight ingots. What we're we missing? One more tick of blood. Two blocks, perfect. Plus a load of junk, but we shall worry about that later. Get that on the bottom, pour that out. Oop. Gonna want our gem cast to get those emeralds back out they're too valuable to leave in there wait for that to harden up that's going to take forever get this iron out and then we'll check our quest book and we'll see exactly where we're at So Reed doesn't need many emeralds. Okay, that can stay in there. The quest book should now give us this pickaxe, Abyssal Knight pickaxe, which we now have. So that can go. I don't really know what that's for, but presumably you can only use it somewhere else. So we can either go looking for Corallium What's this one? Cranium is one of the basic crafting components in early abyssal craft. Cranium ore is found in wet biomes like swamps and oceans and most dense, most common. And Cranium infested swamp at Y33 and lower. Unless you are very lucky, you may have time. Unless you are very lucky, you may have to mine for several hours. Huh. Okay, so that looks like that's what I'm going to be doing later on. This is killing the shadow mobs. So we'll probably set up a mob spawning platform up in the sky, I think, <clears throat> to do that. Side dust. Side dust is the first item you make with a side casting assistant device. By tossing one or more redstone on the ground and right clicking it with the CAD. You will need eight or more, more side dust to progress. If you not yet have a side CAD, you can get a CAD assembler from the rock hounding chapter Shibuchi's Quest. Mm. To make a CAD will require a fair amount of time in Britannia. Right, so let us have a look. It did mention the rock hounding quest in the Shibuchis, which we've got. So have we got the CAD assembler? We have. Iron CAD assembly, presumably. Wow. Is that what we needed before we start going down that rabbit hole? Wrong one. Yeah, iron cad assembly. So we will look at what we need. So a block of iron, no problem. Double compressed sticks. Propolis. Propolis. Which we should have. We do. 
double compressed sticks. How many did it say we needed? Just the one? Double compressed stick. We've got that. Block of iron. Spell binding cloth. Mana pearl. With right, so we need to turn that, and we need also need a mana pearl. Let's hope we've got enough mana for this. Tell you what, actually, we'll get a block of. That's not a block of coal. We will get a block of coal just to throw some more mana in. While we're doing this. You go in. And it looks like we're out of mana, does it? It does, so we're going to have to wait for that. What was the other stuff it needed us to do? We're on with that. On a runic altar. Now, we don't have a runic altar just yet. So we can either use Otherworld Leaf from Roots or a Pulsating mesh, mesh from Forestry. Pulsating Propolis is from the end combs through a centrifuge. And we have opened up the end, so that's easy enough to go back to and have a look at and if I remember correctly in the comments Frau our friend Frau had a good point about making an apiary backpack to collect everything which I'm guessing is from this building digging apiarists Chest with five combs. Have we got any combs? <clears throat> Helps if I spell it correctly. We've got two. We've got any scoops left. We can easily go and get some more combs. Let's go. Any beehives? Any beehives? Let's get our hang glider on. There's one. So we just want a couple of combs. I should have brought the smoker, but we should be alright with this. There's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Wow. Plenty of hives around here. Three. In fact, that's all we need, isn't it? Because we've got two. Back at home. That was nearly a perfect shot. There we go. A purist's backpack. We'll make ourselves another scoop. Hopefully we can do that. We can. We need our smoker. Which we've got. We'll get another block of coal just burning away while we go to the end. That should be a Bobby Dazzler ready for getting the mysterious comb. So I'll see you guys over at the end. All right, guys, we are back and just teleporting into the end. And now we are looking for 
What is that? An end glowstone or something. Celestial crystals. Well, at least we know where to get that if we get asked to. Just gather these while we're here, no harm. We've got our smoker at the ready. So we're just looking for beehives. And I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's one. Just caught it in my peripheral vision. Smoke it out. We've got our mysterious comb. So we're going to need... I'm going to say five. What are the chances of getting that? 100%. So yeah, we do just need five. So we're just looking for beehives. There's one over there. There's another one next to it, so that's two. Only two left to find. One of them didn't drop anything. Typical. So you still want two more combs. Three more combs. There's another hive, there's another hive. There seem to be plenty, so I'm not too worried. There's two next to each other there, that's handy. Looks like that smoker's got infinite durability as well. Which isn't true of most smokers. And no, I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. It was just a joke before anyone starts getting on my back about it. We do have our five. That is it. We don't, we're not going to hang around here any longer than we need to. Home we go. Let us find our centrifuge, which I believe is now down here. What's that stuck in there for? What's this going to do? Okay, that's on with. Have we got any more enough mana to get the rest of this string done. Have we acres? That's going to take a while then. Back down here to our centrifuge. So that's nice and straightforward. Six living rock and two stone burnt. So we'll see if we can't make that up and then I think We'll have to just wait until I've got enough mana to do the the rest of the recipe. So, let's go and finish this off. Pulsating mesh, that's one of the things. Don't need that anymore. That's that. So, on six living rock and two stone burnt. How much living rock have we got? Plenty. Look at that. Is it all one word? Yeah. Stone. Burned, which we don't have any of. Polished stone, so we want two of you in front of the laser. In fact, have we got any polished stone? We do. That needs to go in front of the laser. My memory is absolutely shocking. In the resonator. This is what we could have made those water mills for, so we probably will make those. Grid is overloaded. Is that that mining? 
upgrade. It was indeed. So we definitely need to make a a watermill or something, which I might do between episodes because we've seen how to make them, I think. Yeah, so nothing too special. So six more of what we've just done, plus a couple of redstone gears, etc. So we should be able to make a runic altar. We can. We are getting there. We're also going to need another mana spreader. And I can't remember what the recipe was for that. How much of that have we got? Basically nothing. Glowing glass, block of gold. Gold. That needs to go in a furnace. Wrong one. Well, I want that to cook up in there. Why isn't that working in there, anyone? Bugged. Right, stick it, not bugged, but invalid recipe, so we'll just throw it in front of the laser. I like so, and we are getting closer and closer and closer to... Now what have we got? So we just need the living wood, which if it's not anything daft, we can get... That is going to be interesting because, phew, that's lucky because we haven't got any more creosote because of that bug. So I'm going to have to go online. If anyone knows about a solution to that bug with the creosote, please let me know because it looks like we are going to be at that point. Well, we need a solution imminently. So, we're going to need our wand, aren't we, for Britannia, which I'm guessing we've made, but why can't I see it is beyond me. What are they called? Wand of the Forest. Where have I put my Wand of the Forest? Anybody? Let's hope it's in here. It would appear. To be lost. That's going to be tricky then, because we need the living wood and we haven't got any more creosote. Hmm, maybe we'll have to look in that wild wood, wild wood recipe from Roots. But essentially, what we're going to be doing is spinning around making ourselves dizzy for a little bit. We will put another mana spreader. Oh, I bet it's in that chest there. Panic over. Like so. There it is. And we've got plenty more stuff in here. Phew. So that is already pointing at that. So we now have our runic altar, which is going to be. We've got any coal in here? No. Uh, this will be filling with our flower, which we're probably going to need to do some more in the future, and then when the runic altar needs it, it will pull from that manuscript. 
Okay, so let's grab some more burnables for that endo th flame. Fire it up, and then I think that'll be that for another episode. So I will work on getting the rest of that recipe sorted for the CAD assembler. And we'll see what happens later. All right, folks, thank you very much. If um, you do know a solution to that creosote problem, if you could let me know, please, because I've got a feeling that's going to start getting in our way in the near future. Other than that, hope you enjoyed it. Please go ahead and leave a like if you did so. Feel free to subscribe. The more subscriptions, the more motivated I am, let's say, to uh, keep these episodes coming. And I am trying to balance um, real life fatherhood, husband, dun, work, pleasure. It's a tricky rope to uh, walk, but it's uh, all good fun. So thank you very much, folks. I will see you next time. Ta-da for now.